baby are a stitch man, baby are a stitch man, baby are a stitch man, Good morning, Floss Tube. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's had a good few weeks, four weeks. I think it's been four weeks since the last time I'm sitting here. Last, that's, that's longer. We're off to a, we're off to a great start. <laughs> that's a little bit longer than I would normally leave in between videos. There are reasons for that, which I'll probably talk about later. Uh, sneak preview. I have just not been doing well. <laughs> I'm not well. <laughs> just to, just to start us off on a nice, a nice happy note there. <laughs> not doing well. <laughs> no, I'm all right. I, it, it has, it's not it's not as bad as I, I'm making it sound, but I just, I haven't been my normal self over the last few weeks, but it's getting, this is getting a little better. I'm feeling a little bit more normal. I'm, I'm, I'm here now. Lucky you. <laughs> I'm, I'm here now. I'll, I'll try to make it worth your while. I sat here a couple of videos ago, all like happy and bragging that I was like on top of the world again. Like I'm the, I'm, I'm the king again, because like the video that I, I made was like my highest viewed video ever. And like, I, look at me, I'm on top of the world. I am your king. I am your king. I still believe that by the way. <laughs> but, but, and then, then I made, I made my last video where I was all decked out in Santa Claus and Christmas decorations. And uh, I kept getting <laughs> I kept getting all these messages and notifications from YouTube that were reminding me constantly. You know, this video is getting far less attention than your videos normally get. Here's here's the percentage, and here's here's how here's what's typical, and here's how much lower it is. It was reminding me. It was reminding me every day. I, was, I thought I thought it was kind of funny. It was just like what what you don't want. You, 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 don't, you don't want to see Santa and you don't want to see a guy all decked out for Christmas and just talking about Christmas to the, you don't want that to kick off your summer. What, 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 what's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you big bunch of Grinches. <laughs> and I'm bah humbug to you. I'm going to tell you before we get into stitching stuff, I'm going to tell you quickly about a couple of really mundane things that happened to me over the last couple of weeks, but they're two things that I want to talk about. So this is what I'm going to tell you. <laughs> What one? <laughs> I'm not sure why I find this so interesting, but um, when I take showers, uh, I, I always I always just use whatever body wash Melissa buys. What? Because what the hell do I care? Soap is soap. I don't care. I've never put any thought into it whatsoever. Whatever she buys is what I use. And some for some reason, a couple of days ago, I found myself in the body wash section. And I started smelling all the body washes <laughs> and several of them smelled like my dad or like dads in general. I'm like, this is what I, this is what I, and I was, I was thinking about it almost with like disgust. Like this is what dads smell like. And then I was like, but wait a minute, but I am a dad and perhaps I should smell like one. And then I got really, really uh, excited about like, I'm not going to use her like girly fruity smelling soaps anymore i'm gonna i'm gonna buy i'm gonna buy this lumberjacky manly stuff <laughs> so i got really excited about it and 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 that's what i did <laughs> and now i smell like what a dad should smell like and i'm just walking around the house and smell me smell come on get it right right in people's faces come on smell come on smell this take it take, take, take a deep breath smell me smell me i feel like this is what i feel like this is what gaston probably smells like Every last inch of me is covered with hair. Ah, uh, that was my that was my big excitement for the last couple of days. I smell so manly. <laughs> the other noteworthy thing that happened that is not really noteworthy at all. Do you see this? You see this? Look, it's getting all like red and gnarly looking, and it's actually kind of sore. Do you know? Do you know what that? Do you know what that is? <laughs> Can you guess what that is? I very very softly and gently ran my hand down as I was picking something up, I ran my hand down the edge of a juice box <laughs> and I didn't even notice it at first and it didn't even hurt. And, but I looked down and my hand was just covered, covered. I'm not even exaggerating. I'm exaggerating a little, but my hand was covered in blood. <laughs> oh! Oh! Now I've done it. I've cut the dickens out of my finger. Well, I'm glad in a way this happened. You know, accidents do happen. Time to time in the kitchen. Like so. Now, you want to raise your hand over your head so the blood has to be pumped all the way up. 
just like that. It was, it was just like that. And I was, I was just like, and it took a while to get it to stop bleeding. And I was just like, what, what the, what the hell? It's, it's juice. I cut myself on juice. Who knew, who knew juice was so sharp? <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's all that's happened to me in the past month. That is of note. I smell like Gaston and I almost severed a finger on juice. All right. <clears throat> Sorry. <laughs> all right. First of all, the first stitchy thing we're going to get to, just so I don't have to make you wait, the reason why a lot of you might even be here, to see if you won free stuff or not. Let's see, let's see who, let's see who won free stuff, right? <laughs> it's kind of funny because I sent my, the new patterns, the Christmas ones that I made. Let's, let's, let's look at them. This one and this one. <laughs> I, I sent those to my mom, knowing that, like, my mom doesn't, my mom's not a humongously big fan of the, the profanity and all the fucks that I drop and all that kind of stuff. She, I mean, she's not like, she's not uptight or anything, but she doesn't particularly love that as much as I do. To which I, I knew her reaction to that was, was going to be like, that's not, that's not Christmassy. Like, <laughs> who's going to want that kind of stuff hanging around and hanging on their walls at, at Christmas time? Nobody's going to buy that. She didn't actually say that, but I kind of like got that impression. Like, come on, <laughs> nobody's going to want that hanging on their wall at Christmas time. To which I was like, you know, I, I you're wrong about that. <laughs> People like this kind of stuff a lot more than you think they do. The perceptions of like what the like stitching community is is like and the types of people that are filled with, I think is like, is, is entirely wrong. We're all a bunch of nutcases. And we, we like this kind of stuff. A lot of people like this stuff. And I, I'm telling you that these are gonna be, more people are gonna buy these than anything else that I have made so far. Maybe even like anything else that I will make. People are going to, people are gonna love my Yippie Kaye and they're gonna have it hanging on their walls at Christmas and you just wait and see. And then <laughs> I offered, I offered them up as giveaways for free. And like, yeah, a couple, a couple of, a few people did, did still go out and, and buy them, but I'm, most people obviously, and I would do this too, I don't blame you for this, but most people I'm assuming are just waiting to see if they win them for free rather than buying them first. I would do that. So, but, but then that's like, sort of like gives fuel to the like, Told you so. <laughs> like nobody wants Yippie Kaye motherfucker hanging on their wall at Christmas. I'm like yes, they do. They do though. They do. <laughs> they're just they're just waiting until the giveaway's over, and then there's gonna be just a flood. I mean, you just you just wait and see. You just wait and see. <laughs> so anyway, on that note, the key word that you had to say in order to enter the giveaway was Elvis. Oh. Huh? Elvis. <laughs> and a hundred and eleven of you said. Elvis. That's how many. That's how many comments I had to choose from. Five winners out of 111 entries. Now, doing a little bit of quick math here. Beep boop, boop, beep, boop, beep. <laughs> that means that the 106 of you who aren't going to win are going to just rush right out and buy the thing that you wanted. Right? <laughs> you didn't just. You didn't just say Elvis because you wanted free stuff. You said it because you really want these things. And if you don't win them, you're going to run right out and buy them. Right? <laughs> that's how that works. <laughs> right? All right, so here we go. So right before I sat down to film this, I went to the YouTube random comment picker and I picked five winners and I took screenshots of each one of them. And yes, a couple of them are friends of mine. You're just gonna have to trust me that those are the names that came up. And I, I did think of that as I was like, it's, it's, it's just gonna seem suspicious, but like, it, it, but then I thought, well, you know what? Everybody's my, you're all my friends. Every, how am I gonna not give away something to one of my friends when you're all my friends? So it's suspicious if I give anything to anybody because you can accuse me of giving it to, you're just giving it to your friends. You're my friend. You, 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 and even, even you. You're all my friends. So here are the winners. I'll get out of the way here so I can show you my screenshots. <laughs> here are the winners in the order that they appeared. Number one, Kara Dayhoff. Yay, <laughs> congratulations. Number two was Miranda, the 14th moon of Uranus. That made me, that made me happy. Miranda's a friend of mine and I'm, I'm, I'm glad to, I'm glad to be able to give, give you something. Yay. I was glad Miranda popped up. Number three was Mary Lee Laird. Even though, I don't know if you can read that or not in my little screenshot here, but even in her comment, she, she said, uh, Elvis does nothing for me. Hey, that's fine. I never said as part of the stipulation that you have to like Elvis in order to win. You, you just, you just have to like me. <laughs> Number four, Rebecca Viz Nikki. Viz Nikki. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, the most suspicious of all, my good friend, Mary, 
Daydream Stitcher. That's the name that came up. That wasn't like that's a that's that's who won. That's who won. I, I know I know I know it it seems it seems suspicious. So you're just giving stuff to your friends. I'm not. That's the name that came up. You're just gonna have to believe me. Very, very suspicious. And you're gonna have to just trust me because, and here's where the whole Elvis giveaway comes full circle. We can't go on together with suspicious minds. Right? <laughs> with suspicious minds! So congratulations, congratulations to all the winners. I am gonna comment on your comment. Uh, I'm gonna include my email address in the description box below if you wanna send me an email, if you wanna send me a message on Instagram, however you wanna, we wanna get a hold of each other. We'll, we'll 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 figure it out and I'll just I'll just send you would you tell me what you want tell me anything that you want uh, that's in my shop tell me what tell me what you want and I'll email it to you and you'll have it right away boom just like that and congratulations also to the hundred of, 106 of you who unfortunately did not get the free thing but fortunately get to go out and buy the thing that you wanted so you're all gonna have you're all gonna have it too right <laughs> yay all right so let's talk about my actual works in progress Oh, I only worked on two things and I didn't do very much of either of them. Uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you, first of all, that especially considering that it's been almost a month since I sat here, that I have, I have some progress to show, but shockingly little <laughs> compared to what would be normal. I might talk about the, uh, prob I probably will talk about this a little bit at the end if you're interested in sticking around but it's be because i mainly because a i've just been like i for i've just been like just not doing all that great mentally for some reason <laughs> like not, not like anything to be like worried about but just like just not good <laughs> in the especially in the evenings when i've got time that is normally like my time to like be doing stuff hasn't I hasn't I, I it's it's been hard to escape my own brain and <laughs> it's it's a it's a jungle in there sometimes um and and I just could like, and to, maybe part of it all just ties together part because of that or because I don't really know why but I, I kind of just lost my stitch bug and that's a very very strange feeling for me to be like have time to and opportunity to sit down and stitch and just not want to I I didn't know how to deal with that <laughs> that that was not a good feeling um but I'll get it. I'll, I might talk about that a little bit more after. For now, I'll just show you the what I actually did because I did do some stuff. I didn't do nothing. I did something. <laughs> so let's start start off with Chessie. Let's see what Chessie looked like the last time I sat here. This is what Chessie looked like last time you saw it. Darcy probably regrets asking me to do this. And here's what Chessie looks like today. I don't actually remember and I haven't looked yet to see what this looked like the last time in that clip that I just showed what he looked like last time, but I'm pretty sure I did something. I think that this hole is a little bit smaller, <laughs> isn't it? Did I do anything? <laughs> I have to say though, as much as I, and I've, I've hinted at this and maybe even just flat out said it in previous videos, but like as much as I love Chessie and Chessie might be my favorite. I love you, Chessie. I can't wait to see you finished. It's going to be like, you're going to be hanging on the wall for years and I'm going to be an old man saying, look at this Chessie. You remember me working on this? I love this. I've got it all documented. It's the greatest thing ever. Uh, but for right now, I am just, I'm just over it. I'm over it. <laughs> I don't even know if I can muster the motivation to finish this little section or not right now. Maybe, maybe I can, I can do that and just set it aside for a little bit, or maybe it just as is right now gets set aside for a little bit. Not like, not a long time, but like the rest of the summer, maybe. Maybe I'll pick them back up in the fall when it gets colder, or like, I don't know, I just I just feel like I need a Chessie break. I need a few videos where I'm sitting here not showing you this purple background talking about how much I wish this page was just done. I just, I just need a break. So take a look at Chessie. <laughs> maybe, maybe this will be filled in next time and maybe I'll show it to you and then put him away. Or you might not see him again until September, October. I don't know. Uh, I just, I need to, I need to do a little bit of reevaluating of what I actually want to be working on. Cause I love Chessie, but I have not been happy working on him. And if I'm not happy working on him, then why am I working on him? Right? Right, 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 right. <laughs> Thank you.
The other thing I've been working on, which is currently housed in my Betsy poop bag, is my pattern of my own creation, Yippie Kaye, motherfucker. Do I have any? Did I did I start that last time? Do I have any? Like, here's what it looked like last time. Let's let's take a look. Do you really think you have a chance against us, Mr. Cowboy? Yippie Kaye, motherfucker. And here's what it currently looks like. Nice, right? Look at that. Isn't that don't, isn't that nice? <laughs> Aren't you gonna just love having this hanging on your wall at Christmas time? I I I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm excited about it. There is a lot of I mean not a lot of like there's a lot a lot but not a lot of stitching like these like these are all blocky like you know full like the whole word is just like. It's it's it seems it seems like a lot like when you're when you're looking at it like oh my god like why did I why did I do that to myself with all that but it's actually not it's it's not that much these these go by very quickly I did these all both of these letters basically in in one sitting it's not as much as it looks like and it's not a, it's not a humongous pattern either like this is most of page one and then there's a page two and then a little bit of a page three and that's it it's not it's not uh, I don't know I don't, I don't know man what do you want from me. <laughs> Isn't it pretty though? Like look at all the red and the green and the and the Christmas and it's gonna look all like it's just I don't I don't I I I I really like this. I'm excited to, about it. I think I did a good job and I think it's gonna look really good when it's done. It's not this is not one that's like a humongously top priority for me to like I gotta hurry up and finish this or whatever. But I like I want it done for Christmas. But it's like I could just pick away at it very very slowly and still have it done in plenty of time for Christmas. I've just been, I don't know, I've just been kind of like, if I'm in the mood for stitching at all, I've been kind of in the mood for something that's kind of just small and light and not, I, 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 I don't know. It's been, it's been a struggle for the last few weeks to do anything at all. So something that's like red and green and Christmassy and motherfucker was at least, at least if I wanted, if I wanted to do something, at least I, I felt like I wanted to do that. So that's what I've been doing. and. Aren't you excited to do it too? Doesn't it look like fun? It is fun. It's a, it's a lot of fun. If you like Christmassy things and you like Christmassy colors and you like the red and you like the green and you like the die hard and you like all the things, I'm, 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 I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's fun to do and it's going to look good. Huh? Huh? <laughs> okay. So now let's talk a little bit about anxiety and losing your stitch bug. <laughs> a little stitch man therapy session here. Uh, hang on, I'm getting a little distracted because uh, M Maple just crawled out from behind the curtain in my window and I didn't know she was there. Let's say hi to Maple first. Hey, Maple. Here's my princess. There's my princess. What is that on your... Th what is that? <laughs> so part of the reason that I don't have a whole lot of progress, even though it's been a month, is I had a, I had a stretch there of a, a couple of weeks, maybe even maybe even longer, like at least at least two weeks. Where I was just like, it wasn't a constant, it wasn't all day long or anything like that. But every, every single evening, which is normally like my happy time and my alone time and my stitching time to like get stuff done. The evening would roll around and I would just be like overwhelmed and overcome with these like anxious feelings of dread and destruction. <laughs> I don't, I don't even know. I don't, I don't even, I don't even know. I don't know where it came from and I don't know why. The only way that I could even describe it when I tried to describe it was it felt like um, there was an asteroid heading for Earth that was due to hit at some point between right now and first thing in the morning. There's like a 10 hour stretch there. We're not sure exactly when it's going to hit, but we know it's going to be tonight. And there was there was nothing there was nothing for me to do except stare at the wall and wait for it to hit. And, and and that's that's basically what I was doing. <laughs> like there was no there was no because it, it, like I know in in real life there was no asteroid there was and there was no like sort of like anything representing the asteroid. There's no there was no dread or no bad thing coming or no at least I hope not <laughs> that like like any specific worry that I actually had that I'm worried about this or I'm worried about that or I don't know what I'm going to do about this. There was no, there was nothing like that, and yet. To, to try to tell my stomach that <laughs> like I don't know I I'll, I'll, I I had no I had no desire to even try to distract myself I'll watch The Simpsons or I'll watch like I'll watch a movie or I'll listen to music or I'll stitch or what whatever I couldn't I didn't want to do any of those things I wanted to stare at the wall and worry about what <laughs> I don't even know what 
And, and, be, and because of that, even though I was sitting there and I had time and I had my whips in front of me and I had time to work on them or whatever, and usually when I feel like weird, stitching is the thing that can snap me out of it and make me feel better. This is my happy thing. Like I've had some like bad times and bad feelings in my life that like stitching has that, like really helped me through it. It's the thing that makes me feel better. And I didn't even want to do that. It's like, it was a, it's the weirdest feeling in the world to be holding your stitching in your hand and have time to do it and just not want to do it. I don't, I don't, I didn't know how to, I, I don't even understand the words that are coming out of my mouth right now when I say that. I didn't know how to deal with that. I don't remember ever feeling like that. What do you do when that happens? I know I'm not the only person that that's, that that's ever happened to, but I, I don't know what to, I don't know what to do when I, I feel bad and the, the thing that makes me feel better, I don't want to do, which be, because I don't want to do it makes me feel even worse. <laughs> because I feel like I should want to do it. And now I've got nothing to do except just sit here feeling miserable. <laughs> it was a really, really not fun couple of weeks. <laughs> so eventually I got tired of just like repeating the same thing night after night after night and I didn't know what to do. So I did the only thing I could think of. I talked to Ryan. <laughs> hey all, it's me, Ryan. Uh, welcome to my channel, Ra Ra Magai. And that was actually really, really helpful. I'm not really sure like that we like came to any sort of like conclusions or like any sort of like actual but uh, actual anything <laughs> other than just talking but just talking to him uh maybe I didn't it didn't it didn't cure me when all of a sudden like I don't feel this anymore and now I'm all like stitchy again or whatever like it wasn't but it, but it did make me feel a lot better and I so that I, I I normally wouldn't just like share personal things like this or just like call people out like right in front of everybody but like i it's not it's it's kind of general and i just i, I wanted i i, I bet <laughs> just wanted to say thank you to ryan for at least like listening to my or reading my messages and responding and making me i i felt i felt better after i talked to him go to go to rye rye mcguy for all of your stitchy mental health needs i guess <laughs> It worked well. So anyway, that wasn't like the end of like, hey, I talked to Ryan and now I'm cured or whatever, but it did. That was the beginning point of starting to feel better. And over the last week or so, or especially over the last couple of days, I felt back to my normal, normal self. I don't feel like there's an asteroid coming anymore. And I have been stitching and enjoying it and watching some of the things like I watched Floss Tube again. I watched some of the shows that I like, I'm, I'm, I, feel, I feel like I'm pretty much pretty much back to normal. I don't know what the hell that was or why that happened or what to do about it again if it happens again, other than like, I guess I'll just have Ryan on call, but uh, it was not, uh, not fun. <laughs> it made me, it also, it made me feel for the first time in like two years, completely just like a stranger again, like just disconnected from, I wasn't stitching and I wasn't making videos and I wasn't designing anything and I wasn't talking to anybody. And I wasn't even replying to my comments on my videos. And people have been sending me like nice comments and huge messages and like all this stuff. And I just have been just like not talking to anyone basically. And I, I another thing that makes me feel bad, I like, just pile on all the things that I feel bad about, like that I haven't even been talking to people, but it just sort of just like, I just felt like I'm a, I'm just a complete stranger again. I'm like, I'm a complete fraud. All of this was just a big dream. None of it actually ever happened. I, it was, I, it, I, I, you know, I don't, I, I don't know. I'm glad, I'm glad that I'm coming out of it. And I'm glad that it's like uh, over, I hope <laughs> over <laughs> any, any of you who like feel, I'm, I'm sure I, I know a lot of us, a lot of us are like these types of people <laughs> that have feel like these types of feelings. Like it, it, I, if you, if you want to, if you want to like tell me about it or like, what do you, what do you do? What do you do? How do you make yourself feel better? Is it possible? Do you, can you make yourself feel better or do you just wait it out? Like, what do you do? What do you do? <laughs> I'm glad that I'm feeling better, but I'm not really sure why. <laughs> and I just, so I don't know what to do if it ever happens again. Okay. So that's pretty much all I have. Um, but there, there's one other, there's one other thing. This, this is just flat out, not related to anything stitching. It's going to be like a two or three minute rant about something that sets me off every time that I see it. And it came up again, again recently. And I started ranting about it again. So if you're interested in a stitch man, stitch rant, then enjoy the next couple of minutes. And if not, then I'll, I'll see you next time. Let's have a little intro for it though.
Stitch man, Stitch rant. Okay, so this is something that comes, this pops up on the internet or on Instagram sometimes as like a meme or I hear people, I hear people in real life say it sometimes too. And like, it drives me absolutely crazy every time I hear it, especially, especially when I hear it from people who are around my age. And that is uh, this idea that we all grew up with like, we were outside with our bikes and we were climbing trees and we didn't have phones and we didn't have tablets and like we played outside and we ran through sprinklers and we like, we weren't sitting in front of kids today or just locked to their screens. All they do is stare at their phones all day long. And wasn't it great back in the day when we all lived on like Little House on the Prairie or whatever. Get the fuck out of here, first of all. Get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. First of all, kids today, believe it or not, yeah, they have phones and they have easier access to this kind of portable screen time. Um, but this idea that they're never outside or they're never doing anything else except staring at their phones. Maybe you live in a place where that's true and maybe that's what you see. But I see kids. There are kids where I live. I have kids. And that's just not true. I'm not saying that they're never on their phones and they're never like staring at a screen. But this idea that they're never outside and they're never on their bikes and they're never like outside playing sports and they're never climbing trees. And that's all just complete bullshit. It's nonsense. They do all of those things just like we did when we were kids. Also, this, I this idea, I'm a little bit more lenient when I hear this kind of thing coming from like the, the old, older generation, like older than me or like, you know, my mom's age or something like that. Like, cause they thought the same thing of me when I was a kid and they think the same thing of these kids now with the screens or whatever, like fine, well, well whatever. I, I'm a little, little bit more lenient with that. But when I hear people <laughs> that are my age, that grew up in the nineties talking about screen time nowadays, like as if this is a new thing and as if like as if we didn't have that there is not a generation of people that has ever existed or ever will exist that had more screen time than my generation <laughs> get get your heads out of your asses <laughs> every single one of us who grew up in the 90s could rattle off without even thinking twice about it 20 to 30 to 50 tv shows that were an absolutely essential part of our growing up movies that we watched all the time you know like do you want to list some some right now that you just like people who are in there like around 40 ish are gonna just be like oh this is such happy memories of like your happy memories all revolve around tv and movies like <laughs> give me a break tgif first of all there was a whole there were whole blocks of certain nights where the only point of the the entire wasn't just a show it was a whole block of shows tgif you know like full house and Family Matters and Step by Step and Perfect Strangers and Must See Thursday with Seinfeld and Cheers and Friends and, you know, what else is there? Fresh Prince, Blossom, the, it, 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 goes, it, goes, it goes on and on. Beavis and Butthead, MTV and all the music videos that were on all the time. It goes on and on and on. Get, it, get out of here with this, like, we didn't have screen time. We had nothing but screen time. Not only that, how about Nintendo and Super Nintendo? How many people my age could right now, without even skipping a beat, close your eyes and go through every single Mario game without without missing a thing and without skipping a beat? We, we didn't just play them. We played them over and over and over and over and over for hours and hours and hours and hours. Okay, we didn't have portable phones that we brought out with us on our bikes when we were playing outside. But this idea that we weren't sitting in front of screens frying our brains is complete bullshit. We were. Nobody was ever better at staring at screens than my generation. Stitch man, Stitch rant. <sighs> Serenity now. So I think that is actually it. That's where I'm going to end it. <laughs> um, I'm going to, I, I feel better. I've been stitching more. I'm going to like, I need to, I, I need to do like a sort of like a reevaluation of my whips and my stitch life or whatever. I'm going to put Chessie on pause for a little bit and I'm going to like actually sit down and look at all my whips and think about like, what do I actually want to be working on? What is making me happy to be working on? Maybe it's not even some of the things that I am currently working on. Maybe there are things that I haven't even started yet that would make me 
feel happier that like, you know, like I've been, I've been all, all Elvisy recently. I've got a couple of Elvis patterns. I've got Nevermore that I said I was going to start with Mary like two or three months ago and we still haven't started it or like, I don't know. I don't know. I really need to sit down and really think about like though, like what is, what is, what do I actually want to be doing and working on that is going to make me happy in this moment? It doesn't mean I'm abandoning anything. Like there's going to come a point in a couple of months or whenever it is that Chessie is going to make me happy again. But like, I, it's not a good idea to force yourself to work on something that you're not actually enjoying working on. I think that might've been part of my problem. I feel I've started working on like doing things that I feel like I should be doing that I don't really want to be doing. And it doesn't contribute to the good feelings when you feel like your hobby that you love is like, you know, something that you're, you're forcing yourself to, to, to do. We talked about this before. I've talked about this before. Chris talks about this. You've heard this all before. We all know this. And yet sometimes we still do it. Why do I still do it? Why do I do it if I know it? I don't know. <laughs> But anyway, that's the end. That's the end of that. I'll be back sooner than this next time with more progress to show and more, more fun things and less ranting. <laughs> Till then, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for all the things and congratulations to the winners. Let's get a hold of each other and like check out check out any anybody that I talked about. So there's going to be linked below and my shop is going to be linked below and whatever you want to whatever you want to do. Say hi to Maple one more time. <laughs> Can you please just put me down? <laughs> I'll see you next time.